The Dave and Bandy random Wii mod dropped a few days ago, and people have been very curious about the animatronic versions of boyfriend and girlfriend that appear in the mod. Now here's the information I've gathered about them thus far. So basically the animatronic version of boyfriend and girlfriend were created at the request of Daddy Dearest. He wanted to have them made so that he could use them to capture boyfriend so that he could keep him away from his daughter. And let me tell you, Daddy Dearest went all out to set up this trap. He paid a man named Henry Emily in order to make these animatronics, which if you're not familiar with FNAF, that name probably means nothing to you. But to put that into context, the person who made these animatronics is the same person that made Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy. Now, according to the mod creator, these robots were made with the intention of being non-lethal, meaning that they were designed to hunt people down and then trap them into rooms, but to not necessarily harm them. I think the idea behind this is that the robot would catch boyfriend, leave him locked in a room so that Daddy Dearest could come and deal with him himself. The worst that these animatronics are supposed to do is just scare you so badly that you may faint. But I wouldn't necessarily take that information to heart because we've all seen enough mascot horror to know that eventually these animatronics will hurt somebody. Just the fact of how they are made is dangerous within itself because when you think about it, they're made of full metal and they also have the same spring trap insides as the other animatronics that Henry built. And the developer also gave a little side note where he stated that the girlfriend animatronic has a pretty chill temper, but the boyfriend animatronic it can actually be violent and he has a horrible temper. The one saving grace here is that neither one of these animatronics has a angry child spirit possessing it. But they do have the same personalities as boyfriend and girlfriend and this is why they're so willing to actually sing along and rap battle people in the mod. Something else I found interesting in the mod is that we see that Dave is actually working as a security guard in this pizzeria, but in actuality it's just a warehouse that Daddy Dare has purchased and named Funkin' Pizza in order to trick boyfriend and girlfriend into going in. And while I do love boyfriend and girlfriend, we all know that they are dumb enough to fall for that simple trick. Now there are a few fun facts about these characters that really stood out for me. The first one is people may notice that boyfriend has that black hole in his chest and that's actually not a hole but a speaker and this is where his voice is actually coming from. People may also notice that girlfriend's eyes change color and that's because her eyes are actually screens. So it's basically like she has little monitors or TVs for eyes and it's even said that if you had the right controls you could literally watch television through her eyes. Now boyfriend was supposed to have them too but it seems like Henry ran out of time when he was actually building these two. I suppose that daddy dares gave him a pretty tight deadline so he just had to scrap that idea. And something I'm excited about for the future of this mod is that apparently we're supposed to get more animatronics and I know for sure that Pico is supposed to be coming in the future. I assume that that'll probably come out with the next update of this mod and we may even get another creation in there. When you look on Twitter you see like animatronic versions of Senpai but I'm not sure if that is legit or not. And something that I want to add that popped up a lot on Twitter is people think that the mod developers are going to turn this into like its own FNAF slash Friday Night Funkin' spinoff type game and that is not actually going to happen. While it is an exciting idea, the mod developer has said that he had a bad experience with the FNAF community and he doesn't want to step back into that space. And honestly, I don't really blame them here because while it would be cool to see some of the FNF creators kind of branch out into different types of fandoms, I understand that there's a lot of drama that comes with that that may not be worth it. Friday Night Funkin' has enough drama within itself, no point in dragging a whole nother community and their fandom and their drama into their life as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe to Daily Crew, remember the Orts Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Peace, peace.